Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and today Sin is out. I've been playing him for a while now, and it's getting pretty late, so this is going to be a bit of a whisper video. We're going to go over a little combo guide for Sin, and talk about what his main combo extensions are going to be, and how you're going to combo off of most of your hits. Because from what I've found, he's pretty flexible, so these are just some ideas for you. Off of most of your hits, you're going to be able to get a standing RC and dash up for a charged dust, and that allows you to go for some pretty damaging combo extensions, because after the dash and charged dust, you have the momentum to go for a close slash, and then from the close slash, you can do whatever kind of combo ender you want, depending on how close you are to a corner. If your opponent is in the air or really far away when you get an RC, you might have to do a drift RC, and you can still get a fully charged dust, but after the dash up charged dust, you won't be able to get a close slash, but a standing kick rub. And after the standing kick, you can go into your 6H, and then whatever combo you end up you like, depending on where you are with So just to repeat, you can either do a standing RC and run up charge dust into close slash, or off of a drift RC, you can dash up and get a charge dust into a 5k into 6h. Off of a 2k 2d, I either recommend you go into eat into a 6k for some good plus unlock oki, okay, or go into your beak driver follow up to bring the opponent straight to the corner. You could also go for this safe jump. To go for more pressure. Off your two Ps, you can get a 6P into a DP. It's all the P. And he actually has pretty good meterless combos as well. You, after, whenever you can get a 2H into his overhead hoof bash, whatever it's called. Even off of stray bar slashes or 2Hs, you can get combos like this, depending on the range. If you're in the corner, you get a few extra extensions. For example, you can use your JT as an extender. Which is pretty stylish. And you can also pretty easily break the wall using any charge dust combo. And you'll do a lot of damage. Also, whenever you have the opponent in the corner and they get splattered on the wall, you can actually use your Tyrant Rave as a way of taking them off the wall and continuing oak. Okay. Even be able to get a safe jump. And if you ever want to get the super Ride the Lightning final hit, you just go forwards, backwards, up, and then neutral. And it does a little bit of damage. Also, if the opponent has you in the corner, don't fret, you've got some pretty good options. In this situation, I wouldn't recommend going for the regular combos with charged dust that I spoke about before, because you won't really get any good oki or anything, when you can actually carry the opponent full screen with combo instead. But if you want a slightly more expensive and far easier option, you can always do this. Finally, his best dust combo is slash, heavy slash, heavy slash, slash, heavy slash. And <laughs> that's a bit too quick to say. So you go slash, heavy slash, jump cancel, heavy slash, slash, heavy slash, jump cancel again, into slash slash or heavy slash heavy slash. Slash slash works on all characters, but heavy slash heavy slash does more damage. So for example, you can do the heavy slash heavy slash on Kai, but not all characters. Heavy, heavy, so it does a little bit extra damage, but most characters you'll want to go light, light, um, slash slash. Oops. Slash slash, 
still pretty good damage. Damn good damage. And yeah, that's Sinkeys. They're his main combo enders and a little bit of Oki in there as well. So, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in your future conquests playing Sin. Bye-bye. <laughs>